Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, my name is Laili Here I will explain about how to calculate validity, reliability, and descriptive statistics using SPSS Here I already provide the data that I will use The number of respondent that I use is 50 respondent then in calculate the validity reliability and descriptive statistic we need uh, the total value of each respondent the way is by using the following formula type error then sum s u m using capital letters then open breaks after that Lock all the value of the first respondents, then press enter. Okay, done. Then to calculate the rest of the other respondent, it will take a long time if we count them one by one. Here you can simply place the cursor on the right end of the total column, mark down until the last respondent. After getting the total score, now we can move the data from Excel to SPSS. Uh, here we just need to use the value of each respondent and the total value. Paste it in the first column. Wait for a moment. Here we can see that the name of each question or statement is quite long then to make it easier we can replace the name or click variable view because uh, we use a lot of data uh, we can change it using the find and replace tool block the data that will be moved by click on the top here then control F after that, the tabel will appear as follows. Click replace, then write FAR000. Then change it with X. Then click replace all. Okay, well done. Then now change the name of the last column with total. Okay, done. Back to data view. Now to test the validity, uh, click and analyze, then choose correlate, bivariate. Nah. After that, uh, put all the data into the right column. Control A and person. Click OK. OK, now um, wait a few moments. OK, uh, I will zoom it. Um, there is the respondent 1 until 50. Okay, there are person correlation or the air count and seek to tail or significance value and the last is N or the number of the respondent. Then to now uh, the test is valid or not, we can check it in the total column on the, on the total value there are two ways to check the validity the first is we can use air count or the person correlation score 
if the score of the person correlation or the art count is more than art table with 0,254 so the test is valid for example we can look at the first column there are 0,495 uh, it can conclude that the test is valid because it more than 0,254 then we must check it one by one then the second ways is look at the significance value if the significance value is less than 0,05 so the test is valid we can look at this one uh, the significance value is 0,000 and those are less than 0,05 so the test is valid now how to test reliability uh, here i use the same data or tabulation with the validity test for information that in reliability test uh, we must know the contact alpha and to know the contact alpha choose analyze then choose scale then choose reliability analysis nah now it almost same with validity test uh, but in reliability test we move the data except the total click statistic and checklist scale if item there continue and click ok this is the result of the reliability test uh, now look at reliability statistic tabel there is convex alpha and end of item or the total of our statement now the test is called reliable if the Cronbach alpha is more than 0,6 here uh, the Cronbach alpha is 0,900 and it knows that is more than 0,6 so the test is reliable now the last is how to count descriptive ta statistic in descriptive statistic we just use uh, the total score and click analyze descriptive statistic and descriptive uh, the which is the opposite of reliability test uh, we just use the total score like this then click option here you can choose whatever you want here I checklist all of them then click continues and ok now here is the result of the descriptive statistic there are maximum minimum mean of the score and n or the total of the respondent there are 5t respondent Okay, those are a little bit 
explanation about validity test, reliability test, and descriptive statistic using SPSS. Thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.